Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Danyan's Gaming Up. My name is, of course, Danyan, and today we're going to take a look at fire and brimstone, death and destruction, meteors raining from the sky. We're going to take a look at a meteor wizard. Hell yeah. So, the Meteor Wizard. This is a gimmick build. This is not an effective build, this is not a very strong build, you will not be running Torment um, 6 with this, not at all, but this is a very fun and a very cool build. So I'm going to run through everything um, to show you. I'm going to show you the, wep the weapons and the items that you need. It's not really that necessary, but you're going to focus on resource cost reduction as much as possible. Arcane on crit, resource cost reduction, and still trying to do as much damage as possible and still trying to be tough as possible because you want to run at torment one or higher i just run on torment one which is perfect torment two is still possible with my current gear but torment three is just too much of a hassle and i eventually run out of arcane power which is unfortunate also it helps quite a lot if you are above paragon level 100 because then you will be able to pick the 10% research cost reduction from your uh, Paragon points, which is definitely a must-have. <coughs> so, without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? The chest. First off, we start off with the chest. Uh, the Syndicate, most of you already heard of it. Um, fire skills deal 20% more damage. This is variable. This can be more or... This can be t uh, between 15 and 20%. I actually am happy that it rolled on 20%. Uh, and it just gives a nice boost to um, your survivability and a little bit on your damage. Most of these chests, however, will always be worse than what you currently have. Um, if I take my normal chest, I will gain almost 10% more damage and almost 25% more toughness. But as I said, it's not an effective build, it's just a very fun build. The reason you want to go for Syndicate, though, is because it has reduced the resource cost of fire skills by 27%. Now, it doesn't list how much it can actually go to from how low to how high but i'm sitting on 25 uh, 27 percent which is very very nice but i think it can even roll up to almost 50 percent because i can remember at level 60 i had a syndicate that almost had 46 percent or something like that which is ridiculous but 27 is not too shabby of course you have to be a little bit lucky now the second item is the smoldering core this is a 200 staff which also will reduce your damage quite a lot because still in Diablo, even though they fixed two-handed weapons, a one-hand and an off-hand for wizards and almost any class is way, way better than a uh, two-hand. I got really lucky that I actually already rolled onto a uh, slot for this, a uh, gem slot, and that I re-rolled Vitality into reduce all resource costs by 10%. <coughs> I've got a little bit of the sniffle, so excuse me while I cough. Could also be because of him, because he's cleaning himself. So this is all, this is a very good staff. Um, re reduce all resource costs. So with the chest, with the paragon points, and with the weapon I currently have, that's already forty-seven percent redu re arcane reducement, which is very very handy. But there is an effect on that which makes this staff so much more viable. Less enemies are now alert to your meteor impact areas. Awesome. Seriously, this is awesome. So it takes every enemy in the game every enemy excluding elite packs and bosses but every trash you will find will be taunted as you can see right here to the place your meteor comes down because we're going to run with a meteor shower because it looks way more awesome there's going to be a lot of random elements to the meteor build this stuff makes it so much better because everything that is around you will be taunted, so you will have more toughness, you will be able to survive a little bit longer, and they will just circle around the place the meteor is going to go down. It is very, very good. This is almost a must-have staff. If you don't have it, that's fine, because you are going to do a lot of more damage, but just be aware that enemies will run around you, which is can be annoying. Now, and for the third item, uh, which I unfortunately don't have, is gloss, Gloves of Worship. Gloves of Worship allow you to take a shrine and gain the benefit for 10 minutes. So if you gain the 
cooldown and resource cost reduction shrine, you will have it for 10 minutes. You cannot run out of arcane power. It is physically impossible. So you can keep on spamming and spamming and spamming. It looks awesome. Seriously, it's the best thing you can ever do. He, even he likes it, seriously. Um, the gloves drop from the cachet um, doing act two. <coughs> Not really that hard, but in my own opinion, you should wait until the buff comes around, which is I'm doing as well. As you can see right here, I'm saving all of my Act 2 caches and actually well, my Act 1 as well. As you, as, you, as you can see, I don't really have that much. I haven't been playing that much, got a lot of work stuff to do. But wait until the new patch comes around because they're going to buff the legendary drop rates from the caches tremendously. So if you get a Gloves of Workship for that... Uh, say again. If you get Gloves of Workship, then it's going to be much more beneficial. Oh, let's take a look at the skills we're going to need. I'm going to first take a look at the passive skills. Now, there's a couple of contro controversy around the passive skills. And allow me to clear it up for you right now. Arcane Dynamo does not work for Meteors. It does work on different casts. For example, it is amazing for Arcane Torrent. But for Meteor, it does not work because the Meteor cast is counted as a single cast. I did a lot of tests. I did a lot of tests with different Meteors. And for me, it did not work. If for some reason it works for you, please allow me to see a video because then I'm clearly doing something wrong. Anyway, so first off, Astral Presence, a must-have. Increases your maximum arcane power by 20 and arcane power regeneration by 2 per second. I mean, hey, we're going for arcane, that's what we need. Audacity, you deal 50% additional damage to enemies within 15 yards. Because you're going to be uh, standing still... Thanks to Unravering Will, Audacity is very nice. Mobs will come towards you. You don't have to run away from them. You you can just stand, stand still. Very, very nice. You could go for Elemental Exposure. Damaging enemies with Arcane, Cold, Fire, or Lightning will cause them to take 5% more damage from all sources of 15 seconds. Each different damage type applies a stack, stacking up to 4 times. Elemental damage from your weapon contributes to Elemental Exposure. As stated by Blizzard right now, it's not really working-ish. Um, but I guess if you run with a fire weapon, it is it can actually be very interesting. But then again, 15% additional damage, that's already a given. And 5% more damage over multiple attacks contributing from your weapon. So if you're unlucky with your weapon, for example, you have cold, you're not going to get really that much beneficial stats anyway. So I like to run with Audacity. Um, also because my weapon kind of sucks-ish, the stuff I just showed you. It's nice, but it's never... <laughs> my main weapon is 30% more damage. So, I mean, yeah, there we go. So, Unravering Will, standing still for one and a half seconds increases the following attributes. Armor, all resistance and damage. It is just a flat increase. Since you're going to be standing still anyway, this is very, very good. This is like a, a no-brainer. And Glass Cannon, increase all damage on by 15%, but decrease armor and resistance by 10%. The... Minus armor and resistance can be a little bit annoying, but there are different ways for us to actually increase our toughness. But increased all damage done by 50% is very, very nice. Um, some people go with Conflagration. For example, you could take Glass Cannon into Conflagration. Um, if you are not above 50% crit, for me 50% crit is like the perfect number. Any higher is always better, but still. Um, Conflagration, fire damage dealt to enemies applies a burning effect, increases the chance to be critically hit. Um, it is definitely noticeable, but in my honest opinion, it's not really necessary and Glass Cannon just increases all your damage. Since this is a gimmick build, you, you want to go for as much damage from your spells and your passives as possible. So, Audacity, 15%, Unravering Wheel, 10%, and Glass Cannon, 15%. As to where Astral Presence increases your uh, Arcane regeneration and your overall power all right well then let's take a look at our skills at one i have black hole black hole is something i have not been using as much as of late which is unfortunate because black hole is very very powerful but in this case i'm actually choosing black hole over archon in my gimmick build because of spell steal enemies hit by black hole deal 10 percent reduced damage for five seconds that's meh but each enemy hit by Black Hole grants you 3% increased damage for 5 seconds. I thought it was actually a, a cap of 10%, but it can actually there is actually no cap for it. So you can reach 30, 40 stacks, which is quite a nice amount of increased damage. The reason I went for Black Hole because, is because 
the moment you have gloves of worship and you find the shrine that in reduces your cooldown and your research cost, Black Hole is on almost two second cooldown. So you can just keep on spamming it, keeping mobs really tied up, increasing your damage, increasing the damage from the Meteor. Very, very good. If you do not have Gloves of Worship, as I do, um, Black Hole is still very interesting. So I go for Black Hole. You can go for Archon or even Mirror Image or Explosive Blast um, because of the six second cooldown with the Gloves of Worship is also very, very good. But I like Black Hole. Um, all right, Electrocute, search of power, gain one arcane power for each enemy hit. This is almost a must-have. If you do not, ha do not have enough arcane regeneration, you're just going to need this. It is something I re really don't want to use in my gimmick build because it takes away a lot of the fun, but it does work. It does allow you to gain a lot of arcane power very quickly, if, especially in combination with magic weapon with Conduit. Attacks have a chance to restore one arcane power. So this also works on your Meteor. And it also works on your Lightning. So Lightning can jump uh, to three additional targets. It can regenerate three arcane power. And it has a chance to also increase and restore an extra arcane power. So if you're a little bit lucky, you will fill up your arcane pool very, very fast. All right. Energy Armor. Energy Armor mm -hmm. is lovely. Only problem with Energy Armor is that... You are either going to choose between Energy Tab or Prismatic Armor on this one. I used to go with Pinpoint Barrier because it increases your Critical Strike Gens. Uh, it's very strong. But Energy Tab, so rather than decreasing your maximum Arcane Power, it actually increases it by 20. So you have a big, a bigger pool, allows you to cast more Meteors. That's why I go for it. That's almost a given. If you have trouble with surviving though, go for Energy Armor, also increases your resistance to all damage types to 25%. So that means that you can just stand there taking a hit, and it's very, very powerful. Do know though that you will lose 20 uh, arcane power, which is unfortunate. And then of course the Meteor, yeah. This is why you go for arcane regeneration because it costs 40 arcane power. It, it's ridiculous. Then again, it uh, with Meteor Shower, unleash a volley of seven small meteors that each strike for 228 weapon damage as fire. You, This is like, Fire and brimstone, death and destruction, drown your enemies in a rain of fire and flame. It is epic. It, it looks so ridiculously cool. The moment you jump into a friend's game or you jump into an online game and you just start casting down Meteor Shower, people will be like, oh, dude, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, I'm burning stuff. And, pe and things die. It, it's actually not even that bad. It's just that you have to gimp all your other stats in order to make this very, very viable. But it does work. It is very, very interesting. It's very powerful. Um, Star Pact is kind of interesting as well. Reduce the cost of Meteor to 30 Arcane Power. Meteor's damage turns into Arcane. Um, it's meh, if I'm really honest. Um, because it falls down and it's heavily, heavily affected by attack speed. So if you do not have a high enough of attack speed, it is almost not viable. Lightning Bind is meh. Comet is powerful if you go for Frost. It's not that bad. And Molten Impact is awesome if you have your uh, Gloves of Worship. It's almost on a 3 or 4 second cooldown then. And you can just start doing massive, massive damage. Uh, I wish I could show you that because it's really, really cool. But I did find some videos on YouTube uh, showing people... Um, or where people showed how much cooldown reduction they had. It's very, very powerful. Alright, now for the last one, it is familiar with the lovely glyph of... Arcanaut, while the familiar is active, you regenerate two arcane power per second. So that's very, very powerful. So if we're going to take a look at my details, as you can see right here, my maximum, oh, let me buff up, there we go. My maximum arcane power is 165. That's quite, quite a lot. Arcane regeneration per second is 15.4. And arcane power cost reduction is 19%. Um, there is a little bit of a diminishing returns as to with everything. For example, cooldown reduction skills are way higher. Um, but I still don't know why that is. But Diablo never takes into consideration arcane, lightning, frost damage, reduction or anything. So this is around 45% uh, uh, cost reductions, which is very, very nice. Arcane power and crit uh, usually comes from an offhand, which I unfortunately cannot equip right now. Uh, you can go, however, for 
uh, arcane on crit on helmets so that even increases it a lot that is definitely noticeable very very powerful and i'm almost done with explaining how the build goes and i'm going to show you a video and you will be seeing around three to five million crits flying over all all around i do have to say that most of my gear is actually still catered to arcane damage arcane uh, uh there is lightning um there is arcane there is arcane and there is nothing and this is fire so my build is actually not optimized for running the most amount of damage possible but as you can see i have no money i have seriously no money i spent everything on buying gems and everything and then the uh, and making gems and then they were like oh we're going to re reduce the cost of it and i was like really if you really want to go for this spec everything into fire damage or meteor damage as well it is a massive damage difference just imagine i am doing three to five million damage crits right now with my build and i am sitting on around fifth almost 50 percent arcane damage increase so imagine if it was just fire fire damage all right guys this was it um i hope that you liked the build and i hope you that you liked everything i've done again with all the the stuff oh there we go my screen decided to go off <laughs> like ooh. Um, I hope that you liked the video. Uh, I hope that you were going to like the the build in action. It's uh, gonna have a lot of cool music again. Uh, it's not gonna be that long, but just show you to have that massive fiery death and destruction everywhere. Mobs are dying, places are burning, towns are destroyed. It is awesome. It is a very cool build, and yeah, that that was it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep on winning, guys. I believe with this soul stone, I will finally be able to unlock the true power of man. In ancient times, our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the soul stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength of my ancestors. of mankind depends on it. The Black Soul Stone will be my greatest work, my legacy, and my gift to humanity. stone will be made to contain the souls of many demons or even angels.
wars to come between man and the creatures of heaven and hell. The power housed within my stone is the very thing needed to set mankind free from demons and angels forever.